How's it going everyone? New exciting news here at Legacy Lumber. Andrew, he's running away. He is starting his co-op from Conestoga College, four month co-op. I know he's out of focus because it's all on my face right now. This is what's important. But he'll be sweeping the floors, lifting heavy things, walking in the mud, all exciting things. So stay tuned. And Justin, he's getting the old Dodge Caravan ready for a delivery. We got a wormy soft maple uh, bar top heading out. Customer has his own legs. So it's just the bar top that he's gonna be delivering early today. All right, man, safe drive. Yep. Don't forget to get some pictures. Yes, sir. We'll see you soon. All right, we got Andrew working. Bam, there he is, moving around some five quarter walnut. We have another kiln that we've been using for a thinner material. What we've learned is that the vacuum kiln that we have, fantastic for very wide slabs, very thick slabs, any type of specialty material like that. We've also been drying our five quarter and it works out fantastic. The stuff comes out perfectly dry, very, very flat. But the cost uh, to dry that material, which is, which is uh, not a higher value, I guess, uh, material, has started to not exactly make sense. We've recently, um, one of the sawmills we deal with, they also have a big giant kiln and they really know what they're doing. They literally have two kilns that are 70,000 board feet per kiln. So we've been taking our uh, eight quarter as well as specifically mostly our five quarter to this other sawmill. We have 4,800 board feet there right now that we're gonna be picking up. Now it makes no sense to go there with an empty trailer. So we'll be taking a bunch of our air dried five quarter thick walnut, which I have Andrew over here organizing because they want it organized to length when we bring it to them and then they're gonna re-sticker it into their piles that they uh, that they want to stick it into the kiln. So Andrew's gonna be organizing some walnut to length right now. So enjoy. All right, we just had our lunch. Amy's hard at work, scratching her head. Amy, what's going on over there? Get me off of it. <laughs> She's not feeling the camera right now, folks. She's actually looking up kitchen faucets. She, she didn't want to say that though, I don't know why. I got the black walnut dining table that my friend Murray built in the past couple of vlogs. You've probably seen him applying some finish and, uh, and um, we've been showing it off because it's absolutely beautiful on our Instagram feed. I'm gonna give you some shots of, of how it turned out. Let's check it out. <laughs> I can't talk. Oh, battery died. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's a little one up there. There's a one point one and a half up there. So lately, I've really been getting asked a lot of questions on the Chill Epoxy product line. So we just made a quick video for our YouTube channel that's going to describe each product and its main characteristics. Hopefully that helps out. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. There's no gym membership required around here. We just move wood all day. So, a little bit shorter vlog than usual, but as always, we appreciate you watching right to the end. We pretty much just cleaned up a bunch of lumber all day long. We had to eat our Wheaties this morning, let me tell you. Usually, everything's covered in snow. When spring comes, we see all the disaster piles all, all around the yard, but uh, we spent a few days cleaning up and it looks much better around here. 
We're also saying goodbye to this beautiful walnut table that Murray, a good friend of mine, crafted himself from some of our lumber, from Legacy Lumber. So smash that like button, comment below. Until next time, have a great one.